Holy shit! What in the there? wild, <laughs> wild world of sports is going on? Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Tim Corbin. But I made a shirt change. How about that? <laughs> and welcome to our new setup. Yeah, uh, we did a whole new setup just for Romance Month. That's it. We're gonna do a new setup every month. And I know it's like the seventh or the eighth or whenever we're actually posting this. Um, and you're like, you're just now getting to a room for Romance. Sorry, I was moving. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, this is Romance. We're gonna catch up. We're, we're gonna catch uh, up. Though. We're gonna we're gonna watch all romance films having to do with love. Whether it's a rom com, whether it's uh, stuff like Lunchbox. Whether it's whatever, and obviously there's a thousand new films coming out this month as well. Yeah, it's uh, a busy so we'll month. All that. But the first film in Romance Month we watched was Barley, Barley Key Barfy. I, it's Corbinized. I'll take it. Is it bar Barley? Barley. How do you say yeah. it? Uh, Borelli, right? Oh, Borelli? Yeah, Borelli Key Barfy. Not Barley. Not Barley. No, it's Barley Key Barfy. Barley Key Barfy. Barley Key Barfy. Yeah, it's a great uh, soup. The 2017 film directed by Ashwini um, Ayer Tawari. I hope I pronounced that oh, right. Oh, based off of a, a, a novel. Based off a book. Uh, based off a book and starring just a couple people. Yep. Uh, just, a, just a few people. Ayushman Karana, Kriti Sen, uh, Senan? Yeah, Kriti Senan. Uh, Rajkumar Rao, Pankaj Tripathi, and... Ardost. Ardost. And uh, wasn't there... Uh, yes, there was. I have it on my list as well. Uh, as well as the narrator was uh, Javed Akhtar. Yes. And uh, there's also quite an extensive resume for, um, where is she? Seema. Oh, yes. Yeah. Seema, the mom. Yeah, yep. Anyways, but yes, yeah, so this will be a 100% spoiler review. It's Romance Month, so we're watching all films, love, and romance. Yep. Um, and this one was a comedy romance, almost a, uh, basically a rom-com. Yeah. Uh, essentially, but it'll be a 100% spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. We watched it on Netflix. Yep. Watch it and come, come back. back. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, this is our ninth film this year, 216th all time, 134th Hindi. And I have a little paragraph okay. for this film based on the book, The Ingredients of Love. I said, a good romantic comedy looks like it was easy to make when in fact they're incredibly hard to pull off. And the bulk of that difficulty falls upon the shoulders of the writers. Thankfully, Barley Key Barfi is not only a well-written screenplay, but a well-crafted movie all the way around. While at first I was concerned about one aspect that really strained credulity, and it, it would change, or that the toxicity of these stereotypical guys <laughs> was going to make the movie a bittersweet swallow at best, the brilliance of the writing and the strength of the acting made this movie get better and better with each passing minute, and ultimately, especially in the last 30 minutes, mm. I believe if you're a hopeless romantic, you'll fall hopelessly in love with Barry Kibar. <laughs> Yeah, I really yeah. liked it as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, this is a, <laughs> you not? Uh, and there's, we'll talk about all the aspects of. I was, I was probably the same as you. I was really worried for a little while. Yeah, I was uh, like, I was please like, don't let this just be a dick show. How are you gonna redeem it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly. And so we'll, we'll get into all that. But um, I, they, and it, it's. I think this is probably the most rom com rom com we've seen. I would agree. In terms of like the stereotypical like you, format. You love the format of a rom com. This hits all the buttons. You know they're gonna get together in the end. Yep. You know like. like like they, he's gonna have some, or he or she is gonna have something going wrong. They're gonna have to redeem. Right. They're gonna have to do all that. Right. You know, he was a he was really a dick to Raj Kumar Rao. Uh, Seriously, <laughs> so mean. Um, and, but we'll get into that. But yeah, I agree with you. Uh, this is a really right after it ended. I was like, I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was nice. Exactly. I, I enjoyed that film, even though I was like. I still think he's a dick. Exactly. But <laughs> the last, the really, they did a really great job in the last 30 minutes of doing some things that I legitimately was like thinking to myself, how are you going to, I was looking at the closet, like, how are you going to pull this off? Yeah, because, <laughs> anyway, so if you have, once again, if you haven't watched it, go watch it, uh, because we're obviously going to get disposed. But yeah, that, that was my thing too. I was like, okay. He's still a dick. Right, exactly. He literally yeah. waterboarded his friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we're still going to get let we're him still get like the girl. Him at the end and let him get the girl. So what's going to happen here? Right. And so I, I, me and my wife did kind of figure out what was going to go on. I was still worried a little bit. I was like, now did you predict? Because I never know these things and you do. Did you guys predict that she knew the whole time? No, no. That I, I figured that he told her. Okay, at some point. We, we, the, when we found out is basically when he was like, the engagement is set and we need you there. Okay, so you and knew so we, early on. Yeah, we were like, 
Yeah, I didn't okay, know until clearly, we know. Clearly, we think. I didn't know because it was getting really late into the film, and I was like, we still haven't... Right, that was part of my, what, is, what are you going to do here, kids? But it was a really sweet reveal in what they Agreed. did, and Agreed. I feel like, even though he's a dick, I feel like he, he ish, redeemed himself. Well, ish. ish. He realized. Yeah. That's the thing. They got him to a place where he went, you know what? I've been an asshole. Yeah. And we needed that. Like, to, like, like big time. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the writing, I think, why it was well done in, in that aspect is, I think he was a guy who never thought of himself cool. Right. But he wanted to portray that he was a cool person that right. he's seen in films of Young Amatak Bakchan. Sure. Or villains. Right. Or like, all those type of villains. And he wanted to be that style of person. Of because he thinks that's what girls want and but in in real life he's this sweet guy so he's like putting on this front right and that's why he's I'm still i still wouldn't have wrote it this way but like waterboarding rush come on right i was like what are you doing <laughs> um he was i felt so bad for raj kumar rao in this I film know. so bad uh, <laughs> but even he he at a point it's like even though he was the sweet guy that was being manipulated, he too started until to become a out, dick. Until yeah. he figured out why he was... Exactly. And uh, then it just became about, I'm watching this sweet girl and her sister being played by these douchebags. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, please don't let this just be a movie about toxic masculinity. Yeah, yeah. Somehow the guy gets the girl in the end. Don't yeah. just make it easy. And so it's it was... If you like the rom-com genre, I think oh, you'll enjoy this film. Love because this it's It's... You, you feel good in the end, even though it takes you a minute to get there. Um, like, even though the, I think the entire film is like, feel good, but you're, you're wondering like, how, how are you yeah. going to redeem him? And th that's the biggest question. And thankfully, while you're thinking that, you're not like so detested by him that you're struggling through the movie. Mm -hmm. You're enjoying the movie and you like it and it's lighthearted, but yeah. you're thinking, okay, if you're going to turn this into a good movie... And they, I thought that's why I think the writing was brilliant. Writing is wonderful. Brilliant. And I thought all the actors did amazing. Yep. I I chalked it up to it was like early, like in all their careers, because it sounded dubbed most of the time. There, there was some dubbing. Yeah. Specifically, the ice cream segment was dubbed. Yeah. And it so was like, like a lot yeah. of the actors, it was just, I know it's a thing in, in some Indian films because yeah. of budget reasons. Not all of it, but uh, a lot of it. There was like, you, you hear some... Like you could like the, clearly that wasn't on that day right in filming and so that always throws me off. I'm not gonna hold it against it. I I, I me get too. It. It's kind of it's the, part of what the industry's done. We get whatever. It. I just wish they would get away from it. Uh, <laughs> um, but I thought all the actor. I mean, how could you not with this cast? I think Rajkumar once again to have Rajkumar and Pankaj in the same film with I equate Rajkumar a young Pankaj. Yeah, he has this innocent, lovable, and Pankaj has this. This obviously he has an intensity, but he's also has the lovable John Candy esque feel about. Yeah, but you 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 know we don't. You probably have the same thought. While I'm watching him, and I love him in these roles because this is kind of a similar role to the role he played with her oh, in Mimi. Mimi. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, and if you if you added some energy and some comedy, it's kind of like how he was in Stree, but they're very different, right? Mm -hmm. But as I'm watching this, I'm like, okay, this is the guy in Mimi. This is the guy in Ludo. This is the guy in Stree. This is the guy who does this. Yeah. In Mirzapur, <laughs> that weight, that dramatic power, he's, he can just turn that dial all the way down and play just this kind of meek, mild-mannered kind of... Yeah. He, he's amazing. He is... Uh, he might be... If you go by, like, how much an actor can do, he might be the best actor. He's so versatile. In, in Indian cinema. As is Raj Kumar Rao. They're yeah. both very versatile Such actors. versatile actors. Great versatility. But the fact that Pankaj can do... And I know Nawaz, we've only seen a little bit of, of comedy with Nawaz, and, and, and he did a great yeah. job in, in that uh, Salman Khan film. Right. Where he was reporting, he was right. hilarious. And I know he can do it, but the fact that, obviously, Danny Day-Lewis might be the greatest actor of all time, but I've never seen him do good comedy. No, the, I agree with you. There's a, there's a versatility aspect that's very different than so other actors. That, like with, obviously, um, um, Robin Williams. Right. The fact that you can do great so much. Are you... Technically a better actor if you right. can do everything so well. As right. Like Meryl Streep. Versatility. Yeah. As opposed to just one thing. Right. Um, and so yeah, he's so impressive. I love him so much. Me too. Rajkumar, I thought, did a great job in terms of... And he's he's always great. He's always. And he has the same... He can be so intense, but he also has this meekness about him. Yeah. And he's so and innocent. innocent. 
He's so innocent a lot of the times, but he also, when he flips the switch into being this douche, yeah. and he does it so well, it's it really so naturally. Well. Yeah. He's one of, the, one of the best parts about the film. Creedy, I, I think she's, uh, I'm really hoping, I think she signed on to a film with uh, Anya Arcasio. Really? I think I think I heard that. Um, that would be wonderful. Because I, again, I enjoyed her in this as much as I did in Mimi. Uh, yeah. I, I just, I think she's a really wonderful actress. And I'm looking forward to whatever else she's going to be working in because I just, I, she has a likability, she has a charisma, she has a great screen presence, she seems to be a pretty well-trained actress who's got the, the, the believability down, she doesn't do anything with indicating, this yeah. whole cast, I, I enjoyed this film as much as I enjoyed Mimi in terms of the whole cast, the sons, the, yeah. the, the, the couple in Mimi that yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. upsetting. Right. But yeah, she, I think she did a, a, a super phenomenal job in, in bringing the uh, level. I thought it was kind of um, weird in this film how they kind of shifted gears in terms of who was the leading actor. Right, yeah. Because in the beginning it's her. Yeah, and you're like, this is her story. It's her story. And then it switches to a Yushman. Right. And then it almost switches to, like, it, it switches a few times. It really does, so that ultimately it kind of becomes the narrator's story mm -hmm. who's telling us about all of this. Because at first you do feel like it's going to be her film mm -hmm. and it's going to be her story, but it really gives you her perspective. It gives you Ayushman's perspective. It gives you Raj Kumar's perspective. Yep. It even gives you a little bit of Pankaj's perspective. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Yushman, as always, he's such a good actor. Such and a good he, actor. He, 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 he's, he's very versatile as well in terms of he can do yeah. a lot of comedy. This role uh, doesn't... No. It's, comparatively with Raj no, Kumar's not, role. Obviously, Raj Kumar is playing the character yeah. role a little more in this one. Exactly. But I think he, did, he does a phenomenal job. He's a wonderful leading man. He's always believable. Uh, he's one of my favorite actors. The, the, he, the nice thing about this and it's part of what I meant in the paragraph when I said it's really hard to pull off a good rom-com uh, this one's really hard in script I would have been I would have had some concerns about are we gonna be able to pull this one off and it be believable and entertaining but the the thing about him is is that he was able to get me to continue to root for him mm -hmm. when he was being, being a, a dick. dick yeah I'm like please take <laughs> us to a place not just for the moral of the story mm -hmm. but for this character yeah Please bring him to a place of realization he's been a dick so that he can ultimately be heartbroken and win her in the end. And that's, an, that's a testament to him, the actor, playing yeah. that role. And what you want to do in rom-coms, because it's its own genre, obviously, yeah. and it's a very specific genre. You, yeah. know, you, you, you know the format, and, and you, people like the format. They like to sit and be like... I'm gonna watch this movie. It's gonna be fun, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be happy in the end. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's exactly. that's the genre. And I thought they did a phenomenal job with the end. I did too. And with a great his, job. With obviously, you know, a lot of people um, might not have caught what they were gonna do. Right. But the, I love the way they did it. I did the too. The fact that Raj Kumar, I, I, I was like, yeah, clearly he's faking that. Right. Um, but then they let him. And I thought he did a phenomenal job delivering that speech. And she and did the, a wonderful job the, listening. And the chemistry between yes. them at that time. Yes. Um, and then the fact that when she went up to him, she's like, yes. And then he was calling Raj Kumar to come up, and she was like, nope. And I was like, that's a very sweet moment. Very it's, sweet. One of those, it's one of those moments you have to have in a rom-com of, like, this, this is the feel-good moment of the film. Exactly. And the fact that everybody knew and was putting on this thing. Pankaj was like, I just figured it out a few days ago. Yeah. But they're so happy that... And I assume we don't have the benefit of being able to tell how good of an interpretation this is from the book. Oh, yeah. I assume that was written in the book, and mm -hmm. the screenwriting was about taking that, but... Again, one of the challenges, not just in rom-com, but it's very difficult to, to adapt a book to film. Mm -hmm. Very, very hard, because there's so much you can't include that in the book is imperative to the story. Mm -hmm. So you have to decide what are you going to leave out mm -hmm. and still make it work. Yep. So, I, yeah, I thought, and I thought also this, there's a, the composers of the score, oh, yeah, the score were, were multiple composers working together as a team, mm -hmm. and they did what you need to do, again, very, very tricky, because... You need a lot of music to drive the storytelling in rom-coms a lot of the time, mm -hmm. but the risk is it can be overscored. Yeah, and you can be like, "Shut up, enough!" And I didn't. I never felt that way with the score. I felt no, like the score was that. really nice. Yeah, I like the score a lot. Um, I loved all the songs. Creedy with a uh, yeah, we got Pankaj dancing. I, <laughs> we did. Uh, we got a we got a little musical number of him <laughs> strutting his stuff a little bit, and I loved it. Yeah, uh, me too. I loved it. Um, anytime I can get uh, some of my favorites, like 
Manoj or Pankaj or Nawaz dancing, I'm very happy because I think they deserve their, their yeah, own I do too. songs. You know, um, we talk we talk also a lot about all, you know all the actors, the directors, the primary figures that are responsible for the bulk of the creative m movie making, but. One of the things we talk about often when it needs to be is the casting and Mukesh Chabra, who's does a he's the biggest zillion <laughs> well, he's, casting. He's also, great casting. He's also the director uh, of the the last um, um, uh, Sushant film. So he's he's gone into directing. Oh, as well. I didn't realize. Yeah, that. but he is probably the biggest casting director. Yeah, oh, I, in I, India. Yeah, and I. It's just one of those moments where I recognize and I put down on my notes. Who were the key people that I felt were responsible for this being so good? And in addition to who we've already mentioned, uh, one of the one of the groups of people who typically doesn't get heralded in reviews are the casting people. Yeah, uh, we've we've I think the last time we really raved about casting was the consistency with which we saw Abhishek do yeah. his casting. Of course, and there's a consistency with if you see Mukesh Chabra's name on something. You pretty much are guaranteed you're going to have a pretty stellar cast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I also thought the story was really kind of um, I don't want to say progressive because obviously we're this was 2017. So, but right. the fact that the dad he wanted what was best true. for her, he very like, true. Um, he, it, uh, obviously, the mom was like, "I just want you married," yeah. and, and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. I thought the mom did a great job oh, she uh, did. playing that character. She did. Um, but the fact that like this is a story about you know she was. All these people turned her down because she wasn't a virgin, or right. all these idiotic reasons. Exactly. That um, you know, if this is an arranged marriage, that the guys can just turn you down. Yeah, he and was that, a very that conversation with her and 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 Pankaj of why is it this would be, be different if I was a guy? And, right. And well, Pankaj was like, this is the society. The society. Yeah. yeah. And he said said he raised her as a boy, which it really wasn't that he raised her as a boy. It was just he was more progressive and non legalistic in, in things. Oh, and before I forget, because I had said there was one thing that kind of strained yeah, the duality for me. No, was, the one element I would have maybe changed, and it's just a maybe changed, was the fact that um, uh, Ayushman's writing about her was just happenstance. Mm. That all of those particularities were so specific that she thought the book was about her and she had a secret admirer was just happenstance. I was waiting for the shoe to drop and would have liked to maybe have included the prospect that he really had been and was too terrified to admit it. Mm. And then I um, thought I thought it was more of just she doesn't see stories of girls like this in India. And and so okay. I, I think And that's, that's why for me it it's it's that. Yeah. It's very, very strange. I assumed it was just, she doesn't sh feel like she fits in in this society. Right, and finally somebody wrote something. Somebody wrote something about that yeah. of a girl in India yeah. uh, that kind of fits her. But yeah, I understand. But overall, I'm very happy with our first Me film. Uh, I was, I was right when it was finished, I think I, me and Steph both said, that was nice. I yeah. enjoyed that film. Yep. And that's always one. That's what you need because you're not going to get like Oscar worthy no. stuff in rom very, But that's very not what you're rarely. looking for. You're not. Uh, you're, you're looking for to have a good time and exactly. enjoy the film. It's like, it's like, I know you're not a particular fan of this, but when people ask me who've never been introduced to Shakespeare, mm. they're like, what should I start with with Shakespeare? I always say, go to Romeo and Juliet. Nope. Go to Romeo and Juliet because that's the one that doesn't have the weightiness yeah. of all of the other ones. It's the more accessible. Mm -hmm. It's not considered, I, I still think it has a lot of artistic merit, but that's what you get when you have rom-coms. You have a very particular formula and a feel that it's supposed to do, but very rarely is it awards. It doesn't have to be. But let us know what our next film should be for Romance Month. It just has to be about love overall. It doesn't uh, even have to be a comedy. No, it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be a rom-com. Honestly, if there are more rom-coms like this, because I said this is probably the most rom-com-ish rom-com yeah. we've seen. If there's more of this, please let us know, because this is... Uh, you don't. I, we haven't got a lot of this in the news. No, film. like A Star Is Born would qualify for love, and that thing ain't no rom com. So technically, Lunchbox would have qualified. Yeah, there's there's an endless amount of Indian films that have to do with love. Yeah, <laughs> just love is the theme. Just let us know what should be our next uh, romance month film down.